Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will discuss one important topic of fungi that is economic importance of fungi. It is a very wasp topic. I will try to cover it in one lecture. Ye jo video hoga ye aur video se thoda lamba hoga duration mein. Hope you will get some important information from this presentation. So let's start. Economic importance of fungi. Our today's learning objectives. First of all, we will discuss about useful activities of fungi. So, role as fungi is used as food. So, it plays a very important role as food. Then, fungi's role in food processing that we will discuss in detail. Role in medicine. Many fungi produces certain chemical substances which act as medicines to treat some diseases. Then, role of fungi in some industrial products and role of fungi in agriculture and forestry fungi plays very important role in improving the fertility of soil and fungi also plays very important role in research work they are act as test organisms next we'll discuss about the harmful activities of fungi fungi causes destruction of food it also uh, degrade our household all the articles causes spoilage of food, causes human and animal disease, it also causes disease in plants and fungi also causes some allergies in humans. So we'll discuss it one by one. Firstly, we'll discuss the useful activities of fungi. First, role of fungi as food. Fungi plays a very important role as food because it is rich in its nutrients, minerals and vitamins. It also forms an important part of the table delicacies. Many species of fungi are edible. About 2000 species of them have been reported from all over the world. And approximately 200 species of fungi are edible. Many edible fungi are of great economic importance, uh, have great economic importance as food. They are regarded as delicacies of the table. This is the one of the common mushroom which is produced in India commercially and its name is butter mushroom and its botanical name is Agaricus brunescens. This is the photograph of this Agaricus brunescens and approximately 3 lakh tons of this mushroom is grown commercially per year. India may lag bhag 3 lakh ton produce kya ta hai ye mushroom per year. In addition to this it is also commercially produced in other, other countries like USA, Europe, then we have other species that is dhingri its botanical name is Pleurotus. its species this Pleurotus species is cultivated on a commercial scale in india this is commercial scale in india produce this is the photograph which shows this Pleurotus. Uh, but its its consumption thodi kam hai as compared to this agaricus pronesens because it is not uh, good looking mushroom and because it has uh, its ugly look so that's why it is not preferred that much but it is also produced commercially in india then we have one more important fungi that is morals its common name is morals or also known by the name gucci its botanical name is martial esculenta it is one of the costly costiest mushroom bahut costly mushroom hai ye and its uh, rate is about 12000 per kg so Indian rupees 12,000 per kg. Yes, ka price hai. This is the photograph which shows this uh, morals or Gucci. Its botanical name is Marshall Esculenta. Bahut hi delicious vegetable banti hai. And is uh, naturally grown in the hilly regions. Mostly in the pine forest. Or jo devdar ke forest hai, pe commonly paya jata hai. Next, fructification of many fungi are edible, such as we have field mushroom, which field mushroom is most common, that is Agaricus campestris. This is the photograph of Agaricus campestris. It is edible. Next, we have Porexon porexis. This is the photograph of this Porexon porexis. Next, we have Peristraw mushroom. Its botanical name is Volvariella volvesia. We say commonly Peristraw mushroom. It is also edible. This is the photograph of this wall where yellow wall is here or ye most commonly grow in southeast asia mein. next we have uh, 
uh, Chantrele. This botanical name is Cantharilus siberius. Or ye highly prized mushroom hai French market. Ka. And this is the photograph of this Chantarele mushroom. Or ye highly prized mushroom hai French market. Ka. Next, we have honey mushroom. Its botanical name is Armillaria melia. And this is the photograph of this Armillaria melia. This is honey mushroom. Then we have some other edible fungi such as puff balls. Its botanical name is Lycoperdon perlatum. This is the photograph of Lycoperdon perlatum, perlatum, and we have Clavicia uh, boniana. This is the photograph of Clavicia boniana, and next we have models that we have already discussed: Morshella gucci. It's a common name is vernacular name is gucci, and the truffles, which are edible. Truffles are the costliest mushrooms, fungus we can say. The content of available food in them is not high, but they supply vitamins and uh, are valuable as appetizers. And they are also rich in some minerals. Then we have some fungi like yeast and some other filamentous fungi, which are valuable source of vitamins such as B complex. So to yeast, hai, it is rich in B complex. This is the photograph of yeast that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Next edible mushroom is the lantern cedodes. It is commonly known as shiitake mushroom. It is very important mushroom, rich in nutrients and rich in fiber, and it is also used to cure cancer. Before discussing this, we will discuss about the mushroom city of India, which is the Solan in Himachal Pradesh. It is located 46 km from the state's capital, Shimla. And the sobriquet used for this city is mushroom city and it also has one important institute that is the national mushroom research and training center and also the directorate of mushroom research so it plays very important role in mushroom cultivation and it uh, it grows various qualities of mushrooms and shiitake mushroom is one of them it is uh, grown in this uh, institute that is director of mushroom research or national mushroom research and training center in solon and what are the uses of this lantanus edors it is very important mushroom it improves heart health how it improves it contain one secondary metabolite which is eritadinine a compound known to reduce cholesterol level in the blood so it plays very important role in reducing the cholesterol and they also contain beta glycans that reduces inflammation and help prevent the intestines from absorbing cholesterol inflammation ko bhi prevent karta hai ye aur jo intestine hai they uh, are prevented uh, from the absorption of cholesterol this is the uh, image which shows the various uses of uh, shiitake mushroom firstly they are cholesterol free that we have already discussed then they are low in sodium they are fat free and are very good source of fibers fiber ke bahut hi acha source hai a single serving of shiitake mushroom provides 12 percent of your daily fiber needs ek jo single serving hai single cup hai that provides approximately 12 percent of daily needing fibers and in per cup it contains 21 grams of carbohydrates 3 grams fibers 0.3 gram fat which is very less and 2.3 grams of proteins and 81 calories so ye uh, nutrients um, or nutritional values hain wo jo present hoti hain shiitake mushroom mein then it also improves our immune system uh, as we have discussed there are rich in polysaccharides like lentinins and other beta glycans these compounds protect against cell damage. Ye cell damage ko prevent karte and helps our immune system uh, to improve and boost white blood cells to produce uh, fighting of production for fighting of microbes. Next, they produce lantinins and beta glycans uh, known to suppress leukemia. Jo blood cancer hai, usko suppress karta hai. Uh, and uh, this is. Uh, reported by Gu and Blurry in 2005 in their research paper. So this is all about this lantanus resorts. The next edible mushroom is Macrolapiota procera, commonly known as parasol mushroom. 
uh, I will not go to uh, go into its detail because uh, this syllabus is not We will just discuss about its name and photograph. This is the photograph of this macro uh, macro lapiota procera. This is commonly called a parasol mushroom. Here is also edible mushroom. The next edible mushroom is Pleurotus ostriatus, commonly known as Ocitor mushroom. The Ocitor mushroom is a choice edible and is a delicacy in Japanese, Korean, and Chinese cuisine. Jo, uh, Japanese, Korean, or Chinese cuisine has a very important component. Pleurotus is ostriatus. This is commonly Ocitor mushroom, and this is the photograph of this Ocitor mushroom. It forms a very important part of. Chinese, Japanese, or Korean delicacies, table delicacies, and are also rich in nutrients. Next edible mushroom is Kalo Saib, Gambosa, commonly known as St. George mushroom. It's an edible mushroom that grows mainly in fields, grass orchards, and roadsides. And driving its common name from when it first appears in the UK, in UK, namely on St. George Day. So UK may firstly is ko dekha gaya hai uh, on St. George Day. That's why it is named as St. George Mushroom. And this is the photograph of this St. George Mushroom. It is also edible mushroom. Next important edible fungus is tuber melanosporum. You say commonly truffles kaha jata hai. Truffle kaha jata hai. It is a black truffle. Or ye world ki one of the costliest uh, vegetable hai, fungus hai. and it is a hypogenous mushroom means ye underground grow karta hai below the surface of soil and are rarely recognized as ectomycorrhizal fungi or is a ectomycorrhizal fungi ki tarah recognize kiya gaya hai. they usually occur at the interface between the organic litter and the mineral soil jo soil hai or organic litter hai unke beech ka jo junction hai wahan pe se uh, uh, Explore kya jata hai about 2.5 to 15 centimeter deep. Itni depth mein se dekha jata hai, but can emerge at the surface or to be found or be found at the more than 30 centimeter deep. Kai baar surface pe bhi hume milta hai ye aur kai baar we have to explore deep down up to 30 centimeter in the soil. A truffle is a fruiting body. Ye ek fruiting body hai of a subterranean Ascomyceres fungus. Jo ek Ascomyceres fungus hai, uski ek fruiting body hai ye one of the Many species of the genus tuber, which genus ka naam hai, uska naam hai tuber. Uski bahut sari species hai. So some of them are, firstly we have black truffle. Its botanical name is tuber melanosporum. Then summer truffle, its scientific name is tuber estivum. Uh, then burgundy truffle, its botanical name is tuber uncinatum. White truffle, botanical name is tuber magnetum. So ye kuch ek truffles hai. And these are the botanical names of truffles. And this is the black truffle that is tuber melanosporum. Just like in name se bach chara melanin, that which is our dark pigment. So, ye truffle hai aur dunia ki bahut hi costly vegetable iski banti hai fungus ki. And these are the qualities of this tuber melanosporum. One is extra large than first class some truffles and pieces and small truffles. They rely on animal eating them. That is mycophagy as animal jo fungus ko khate hai, from the Greek words mykes which means fungus or phages mean it, it to eat. So as animal jo sir fungus ko khate hai, they are commonly known as fungivores and they helps to distribute spores instead of the air dispersion like mushrooms. So jo isme spore ka dispersal hota that is through the agency of animals. The truffle spore bearing surfaces are enclosed and closed and they do not form a prominent stem rather resembling small potatoes or is mein jo spore forming structures hain wo exposed nahi hote hain they form a potato like structure or animals ke upar rely karte hain to uh, disperse the spores aur jo truffles hain unko explore karne ke liye special animals ki help li jati hai some dogs are specially trained uh, to find out these truffles and it takes a lot of time to get these costliest vegetables from the soil surface or under the soil surface. In addition to edible mushrooms, some mushrooms are poisonous and they are fatal. 
they can cause even death of the person. A few mushrooms are fatally poisonous and some of them cause hallucination. Hallucination means feeling of otherworldliness and discomfort. These mushrooms are very attractive in color and are cup-like structures and are generally poisonous. There is one test named as Mixmer test which has been developed to determine the presence of amatoxin. Amatoxin is a chemical or poison component of the mushroom. So Mixmer test use hota hai to know the presence of uh, this amatoxin that is a fungal toxin in mushrooms. Some poisonous mushrooms are one of the famous poisonous mushrooms is Amanita phalloides which is commonly called death cap and this is the photograph of this Amanita phalloides commonly known as death cap then we have Amanita virosa commonly known as destroying angels this is the photograph of uh, Amanita virosa next is Amanita verna it's commonly known as fool's cap and this is the photograph of Amanita verna and these uh, poisonous mushrooms containing the poison that is amanitin so this is the name of poison amanitin which is present in this in these mushrooms next is Amanita muscaria commonly known as fly agaric our muscarine poisoning is major poisoning that is, poisoning is known as muscarine poisoning and this is the photograph of Amanita muscaria it is a very beautiful lightly colored mushroom and is highly poisonous next is Amanita vegibeta and it causes hemolytic poisoning it means it it causes breakdown of RBCs and this is the photograph of Amanita vegibeta next is psilocybe mexicana commonly known as liberty cap and it causes hallucination that is the feeling of otherworldliness and this is the photograph of psilocybe mexica next is agaricus xanthodermus it is again a poisonous mushroom and this is the photograph of agaricus xanthodermus xantho means yellow dermus means skin so it shows slightly yellowish tinge and its outer skin next is bolitus Santanus, it is also a poisonous mushroom, and this is the photograph of this Bolitus Santanus. Next is Paxillus involutus, it is again a poisonous mushroom, and this is the photograph of Paxillus involutus. So, these were some poisonous mushrooms. Next, we will discuss the role of fungi in food processing. Fungus is used to produce high quality single cell proteins, and the fungus used for this is yeast, such as Torula, Rototorula saccharomyces and candida so these fungus these fungi are used to produce single cell protein products next there are various fungi which are used to prepare some common uh, preparations like we have idli it is the most common south indian dish which is you which is prepared by using fungus uh, terulopsis candida and trichosporon polylens and the material used raw material used for the preparation of this dish is rice and oral grit and this is the photograph of preparation idli which is prepared by using rice and urad grit and uh, the fungus uses torulopsis candida and trichosporon polylens next famous preparation is jalebi it is the sweet dish which is prepared uh, by using fungus saccharomyces bayonis and the material used for the preparation of this is wheat flour so this is the photograph which shows the jalebi Next is soya sauce. It is prepared by using fungus aspergillus oryzae and uh, the raw material which is used for the preparation of this soya sauce is soya bean and wheat. This is the program which shows soya sauce. It is used for the preparation of many Chinese uh, food items. Next is soya cheese. It is uh, the cheese uh, which is prepared by using soya bean and the fungus used for this is uh, aspergillus oryzae again and this is the photograph it is commonly known as tofu next comes sofu sofu uh, is again a uh, product of soya bean which is used by making uh, used which is used by making the soya milk and the fungus used for the preparation of this 
Sufu is actinomucor elegans. And this is the Sufu. It is again the product of soya bean milk. Next is Rocchio 4 cheese. It is a famous cheese uh, which is used uh, for the preparation of delicious food items. Or this major fungus used for the preparation of Rocchio 4 cheese is Penicillium Rocchio 4 tie. And the raw material used is milk. And this is the photograph which shows this uh, Rocchio 4 cheese. And these greenish structures uh, are the structure which are found by this fungus that is Penicillium Rocchio 40. Next comes cam Camembert cheese. It is uh, prepared from milk again and the fungus used for the preparation of this cheese is Penicillium Camemberti. And this is the packed cover of this cheese that is Camembert cheese. It is commonly known as Danish cheese. Next is role of fungi in medicine. So fungi are used to uh, prepare certain chemical substances which helps to cure diseases caused by pathogenic microbes. So these substances are commonly known as antibiotics. And these are the chemical substances which are produced by certain fungus which are used to treat the disease caused by certain microbes even fungi also. So the term antibiotic therefore denotes an organic substance produced by microorganism which inhibits the growth of certain other microorganisms or prevent their growth. So these chemical substances are known as antibiotics. Anti means against bio means life. So against living organisms but they are also produced by the living organisms. So they are used to combat the evil, of, evil effect of pathogenic bacteria and viruses. And most important antibiotics are produced by Moles, actinomycetes, which are known as filamentous bacteria and or bacteria, and certain fungi, and these are used to, as we have already discussed, combat the evil effects of pathogenic bacteria and viruses. The role of fungi in producing antibiotic substances were first established by Sir Alexander Fleming in 1929. Uh, the credit of discovery of penicill penicillin goes to Sir Alexander Fleming and he discovered it firstly in 1929. This is the program which shows Sir Alexander Fleming. Sir Alexander Fleming extracted this chemical substance that is penicillin from the mold Penicillium notatum. So this was the mold which, which, which was used uh, for the extraction of this uh, chemical substance which is known by the name penicillin. And this was the first antibiotic to be widely used. And this penicillin is an organic substance lethal to microbes. Microbes ke liye ye lethal hai. And for more effective, uh, and it was far more effective than other ordinary drugs. So it has no adverse effects on human protoplasm, but it kills bacteria, especially gram positive bacteria. So ye jo uh, penicillin hai, ye especially gram positive bacteria ko kill karta hai, and it has no side effects on human beings. Now, uh, the penicillin is now produced on the commercial scale in all over the world, including India. Or India mein iska jo first plant lagaya gaya tha, that was in Pimpri, uh, that is the Sonbhadra district of uh, Uttar Pradesh, and it, uh, and for the preparation of this drug, that is penicillin. We use two strains, which is uh, Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysotenum. So, these two strains use used for the commercial uh, preparation of this drug, which is penicillin. And there is penicillin factory in India that is in, located in Pimpri, uh, and it is located in the Sonbhadra district of Uttar Pradesh, in India. Naturally, uh, this led to further research of new antibiotics because. The success of penicillin as an antibiotic was later found to be limited uh, because certain bacteria develops uh, drug resistance against this uh, penicillin. Obviously, its uh, uh, effectiveness is limited. Raggi. So naturally, this led to the further research for new antibiotics. Just like scientists have studied antibiotics ke mein, uh, study kiya and they found certain other effective antibiotics which, uh, which would act on pathogenic bacteria and viruses not affected by penicillin. So, assay bacteria or viruses which are not affected by penicillin. So, 
to treat those diseases uh, scientists discover some other antibiotics like we have uh, streptomycin which is produced by actinomyces bacteria which is the filament bacteria in next slide we have list of antibiotics which are produced by fungus fungi so this is the name of antibiotic then the source and range of actions firstly we have penicillin that we have already discussed penicillin enteritum and penicillin chrysogenum and it works against gram positive bacteria next is uh, proliferin it is produced by aspergillus proliferans and it works against tuberculosis next is isopenicillin N. It, it is produced by the fungus Penicillium chrysogenum. It works against bacteria. And next is L sarsin. It is produced by Aspergillus sagentius and it works uh, to treat tumors. Next is Remicin. Re, uh, it is again the antibiotics which is produced by Mucor Remanian, uh, it is It works uh, to treat the bacterial diseases, certain bacterial diseases. Next is Campestrin. It is the antibiotics which is produced by using fungus Saliota campestris and it is used to treat certain bacterial diseases. Next is astelagic acid. It is produced by astelagomatis and uh, it is used against some fungal diseases. Next is uh, Jawaharin. It is produced by Aspergillus niger and it works against uh, bacteria and tumors. Next is Bacatin A. It is uh, extracted from the fungus Gibrella baccata and it is used to treat bacterial and fungal diseases. Next is Cephalosporin, it is a very important drug which is obtained from Cephalosporium species and it works against gram-positive bacteria. Next, uh, antibiotics which are, produced, uh, which are produced by fungus are Fumigillin, it is produced from Aspergillus fumigatus and it works against amoeba staphylococcal bacteriophages. Next is Griseofulvin. It is produced uh, by the fungus Penicillium uh, nigricans, Penicillium urticae, and Penicillium griseofulvum, and it is used as an antifungal antibiotic. Next is Trichothysin. It is produced from Trichothysium roseum. It is uh, used to treat viral and fungal diseases. Next is Antiamobavin. It is uh, produced from Amarisilopsis. Puniensis and uh, Amarisilopsis cinematicola. It is used to treat protozoan disease and helminthus disease. Next is viridine. It is produced by fungus Glioclidium virens and it works against fun fungal disease. Next is fusidic acid. It is produced from Fusidium coccidium and it is used to treat certain bacterial diseases. Next is halinin. It is produced from the fungus Penicillium funiculosum and it is used to treat certain vir viral diseases. Next is porisin. It is produced from Poria corticola and it is used to treat certain tumors. Next is Vortamenin and it is it is produced from Talero Taleromyces Vortmanii and it is used to treat fungal, especially Botrytis, Cladosporium, and Rhizopus. Next, we have some chemical substances which have which are produced by fungus and they have antifungal properties. So these are the antibiotics which works against fungi and they are produced by fungi. Antibiotics is clavicin. It is produced uh, from Aspergillus clavatus and its chemical nature is unsaturated ketone. It works against bacteria and fungi. Next is gliotoxin. It is produced from trichoderma and it contains sulfur and nitrogen uh, and it works against bacteria and fungi again. Next is trichothecene that we have already discussed trichothysium roseum uh, is the fungus which is used to prepare this antibiotic and uh, the chemical nature of a chemical substance is unsaturated ketone it works against fungi next is viridine it is uh, produced by the fungus trichloroderma viridae and it contains carbon hydrogen oxygen as chemical substances and it is used to uh, treat some fungal diseases next is eumycin it is produced from bacillus subtilis and uh, the chemical nature of chemical substance alcohol soluble chemical substance it is used to treat bacteria and fungal diseases next is biocyanin it is produced from pseudomonas aeruginosa so these are two bacteria bacteria which are used to produce some antifungal antibiotics and chemical nature is alpha keto anazine and it works against bacteria and fungi so these are some antifungal antibiotics 
Next, uh, we have yeast, which are excellent source of vitamin B complex. So, the yeast is a vitamin B complex. Source. Vitamin B complex, they are obtained from this yeast. And we have uh, Ashbia gossipii and Arimothesium ashbi. These are used for the preparation of riboflavin. So, riboflavin, uh, jo vitamin B2, hai, which is commonly known as riboflavin it is produced by using these these fungus these fungi next is digestive enzymes which are produced by using aspergillus and rhizopus species so there are certain digestive enzymes which produce kiyate fungus next are steroidal hormones there are certain steroidal hormones which are prepared by using many species of aspergillus dactylium penicillium and rhizopus next we have ergot which is a very important chemical substance which is obtained from claviceps purpurea and it is used in human and veterin uh, veterinary medicines. Jo human or veterinary medicines hai unme, uh, ergot ko use kiya hai. And this is uh, produced by this fungus claviceps purpurea or ye jo, uh, substance this is known as ergot. And it also it is also by the name ergot disease of rai. And the, this uh, ergot is used for the preparation of many medicines. It is also uh, used to induce powerful uterine contraction during childbirth. So, jo, uh, uterus ki muscles ki contraction hoti hai during childbirth, usko bhi ye promote karta hai. Next, it also contains, this ergot also contains one chemical substance which is uh, known as, uh, this is an alkaloid, uh, which is uh, known as LSD, that is lysergic acid derivative, and are used uh, to treat psychiatric problems. So lysergic acid di uh, diethylamide, it was first observed by Dr. Albert Hoffman synthesized. Uh, he was the first person to synthesize LSD from Argot in 1938. So this is the chemical substance which is used to treat many psychiatric problems. Then we have clavicin which is obtained from clavicia and have anti-cancerous properties. So uh, clavicin hai, it is key anti-cancerous properties hoti hai, and it is obtained from the fungus clavicia. This is the clavicin. In addition to fungal antibiotics, we have some powerful antibiotics which are produced by actinomycetes member, which are the filamentous bacteria. One of the famous Antibiotic is streptomycin. It is obtained from streptomyces griseus. Ye uh, actinomycin is jo filamentous bacteria usse obtained kiya and it is very powerful antibiotic. It is of great value in medicine. It destroys many organisms which are not killed by penicillin. Jo penicillin kill nahi kar pati hai, unko ye kill karta hai and it works against, uh, particularly against gram-negative bacteria. This is streptomycin injections. However, these have not been proved so effective as penicillin. Penicillin ki tarah effective nahi the, but later on, uh, jo penicillin resistant bacteria zon ko kill karne ke liye, this drug is used. And some of the actinomycetes, these are commonly known as filamentous bacteria, which are not considered to be true filamentous bacteria, are the source of many antibiotics such as chloromycetin, oreomycetin, teramycin, uh, oreomycin, teramycin. So, ye kuch ek important antibiotics which are produced by using sir, these filamentous bacteria, which comes under actinomycetes. Next comes the role of fungi in industries. So, uh, fungi, fungi are used in various industrial preparations. The industrial use of fungi are many and varied. Important of these processes are given below. We have the one of the important industrial role that is in alcoholic fermentation. It is the uh, it is uh, the process by which alcoholic beverages are produced. So, al in alcoholic fermentation. This yeast is used, this is the most important fungus, unicellular fungus, which is used for the conversion of glucose into alcohol, that is ethanol. And this industry is the highest revenue gener generating industry in India for the government. And it employs the fermentive properties of certain yeast. This means we use certain fermentive properties of yeast. Alcoholic drinks are of two kinds. Jo alcoholic drinks one is fermented drink and other one is the distilled drinks. What is the difference? What is the difference between dis distilled drinks and fermentation? In distillation, it is the method of separating a mixture of liquids into its component by using the difference in their boiling points. 
सो जो लिक्विड्स हैं उनको सेपरेट करते हैं इन टू इट्स कंपोनेंट्स बाई यूजिंग द डिफरेंस इन देयर बॉलिंग पॉइंट्स दैन फॉर्मेंटेशन इट इज द कन्वर्जन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट सच एज शुगर इन टू एल्कोहल दैट वी हैलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड फॉर दिस डिस्टलेशन वी यूज हीट एज एन एजेंट सो हीट इज यूज फॉर दिस प्रोसेस एंड फॉर द फॉर्मेंटेशन वी यूज द फंगस ईस्ट सो दिस इज दीज आर सम डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्टलेशन एंड फॉर्मेंटेशन Firstly, we will discuss about the fermented drinks, which are prepared by using the yeast. So it mostly include wines and beer. जो fermented drinks है उसमें आता है beer और wines. और जो beer है that is prepared from barley malt. इसमें barley use किया जाता है and it contains very less alcohol concentration, that is five to twelve percent of alcohol concentration. और ये जो beer है it is served fresh in some bars. और इसमें जो फ्लेवर है दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेड बाय सम स्पेशल फ्लावर्स विच आर कॉमन ऑन इज हॉप्स सो ये जो हॉप्स फ्लावर्स हैं वो यूज किया जाते हैं टू इम्पार्ट स्पेशल फ्लेवर इन बियर एंड द बोटेनिकल नेम ऑफ दिस फ्लावर इज ह्यूमुलस लिपुलस सो ये जो प्लांट है इसका बोटेनिकल नेम है ह्यूमुलस लिपुलस इसके फ्लावर्स यूज किया जाते हैं बियर में टू इम्पार्ट स्पेशल फ्लेवर एंड इस फर्मेंटेशन इज ब्रॉट ब्रॉट बाय सेक्रोमाइसिस सेरीविसी एंड सेक्रोमाइसिस कार्स वर्जेनिस सो so, ये दो सेक्रोमाइसिस uh, की स्पीशीज यूज की जाती हैं टू ब्रिंग द फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ टू ब्रॉड आउट द फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ बियर नेक्स्ट वाइन्स जो वाइन्स हैं दे आर फर्मेंटेड प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ ग्रेप्स एप्पल एंड अदर फ्रूट्स एंड कंटेन एल्कोहल की कंटेंट इन द रेंज ऑफ टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट और इसमें जो एल्कोहल की कंसनट्रेशन होती है दैट इज टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड दिस प्रोग्राफ विच शो समाइन वाइन्स और uh, ऐसा माना जाता है कि जो रेड वाइन होती है दैट हेल्प्स इन डिजोल्विंग द कोलेस्ट्रॉल नेक्स्ट कम्स डिस्टिल ड्रिंक्स इसमें आता है रम विस्की बोडका एट्सेट्रा और दीज आर द डिस्टिल प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ द फर्मेंटेड ग्रेन्स मोलेसेस और एनी द शुगर इज सबस्ट्रेट उनका यूज किया जाता है बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन प्रिपेयर दिस एल्कोहलिक ड्रिंक्स एंड इट इंक्लूड्स रम विस्की ब्रेंडिंग इन वोडका एट्सेट्रा and the alcoholic content in these drinks are very high it is up to 45% isme jo concentration hoti hai alcohol ki wo zyada hoti hai so we have comparison of rum versus whisky uh, so what is it rum firstly it is a distilled alcoholic beverage product uh, produced using uh, uh, products of sugar rich molasses of sugar cane juice so isme jo rum hai wo sugar cane juice se banti hai while jo whisky hai It is also again a distilled product, alcohol beverage produced from fermented grain mash. This means grain mash used here to prepare whiskey, and its and its production is from distilled sugar cane. While it is from grain mash that we have already discussed, or its key ingredients, so the rum K they are produced from sugar cane and sugar cane byproducts, including molasses and juices. While whiskey is prepared from the grains of like barley, malt, wheat, and rye. and the alcoholic concentration varies in rum that is from 40 to 60% minimum so bahut zyada concentration hoti hai alcohol ki isme while whiskey contain uh, at least 40% of alcohol concentration so this these are some slight comparisons between rum and whiskey saccharification of substrate is brought about by aspergillus oryzae isme jo fungus use kiya jata hai saccharification ke liye wo aspergillus oryzae aur mucor रॉक्सी यूज किया जाते हैं फॉलोड बाय फर्मेंटेशन बाय सेक्रोमाइसिस सर्विसी और उसके बाद फर्मेंटेशन होती है बाय सेक्रोमाइसिस सर्विसी से द ईज सिक्रेट द एंजाइम कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉल्ड जाइमेज विच ब्रिंग्स अबाउट द कन्वर्जन ऑफ शुगर इन टू एल्कोहल सो जो ईस्ट होता है वो सिक्रेट करता है एक एंजाइम जिसको बोलते हैं जाइमेज और ये कन्वर्ट करता है शुगर को एल्कोहल रम इज प्रिपेयर फ्राम लेसिस विस्की फ्राम ग्रेन्स एंड ब्रैंडी फ्राम ग्रेप्स सो दीज आर सम सबस्ट्रेट्स विच आर यूज टू प्रिपेयर दीज एल्कोहलिक ड्रिंक्स so this is the molasses which is uh, molasses and sugar cane juice which is used to prepare the rum so in brewing industry or brewing of wine making industry alcohol is the important product alcohol is important product hai in addition to this jo by product aur nikalta hai isme which is carbon dioxide it was formerly um, allowed to escape as useless thing इसे पहले यूजलेस थिंग मान के इसे ऐसे ही वेस्ट किया जाता था बट नाउ दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज कंसिडर्ड एज वैल्यूएबल बाय प्रोडक्ट 
it is collected and solidified and sold as dry ice so solid carbon dioxide is known as dry ice or the dry ice it is very useful product in the baking or bread making industry co2 is useful product baking or jo bread making industry hai usme bhi co2 bahut important product hai it helps in doing of flour uh, jo uh, grain flour hai usko usko do karne ke liye co2 help karta hai which is produced by the yeast and this dry ice is used uh, to impart some special flavor in cold drinks and it also used to store some organs etc so it is uh, used in various purposes fungi plays a very important role in baking industry mostly yeast it is used to prepare many bakery products in baking industry like we have uh, bread buns cakes pastries pizza etc which are produced by using saccharomyces cerevisiae which is commonly known as yeast and during fermentation two products are produced one is carbon dioxide and another is alcohol and this co2 produced serve two purposes ye bahut important role play karta hai one it causes dough or to rise of flour jo bread hain wo soft spongy bante hain these are because of this carbon dioxide next next makes the bread light aur jo alcohol hai it evaporates during baking alcohol evaporate hota hai during baking process and the the yeast lack enzyme diastase jo enzyme diastase hota hai wo absent hota hai yeast mein so they cannot break starch into sugar so they are unable to break this starch into sugar this is the enzyme diastase which is used to convert starch into sugar but it contains enzyme zymase next uh, role of fungi in enzyme preparations commercially so we have some enzymes which are obtained from fungi first is cellulose enzyme it is obtained from aspergillus niger trichoderma reci and it is used in paper industry and detergents next enzyme is diastase enzyme it is obtained from aspergillus rhizae uh, used in acid reflux and food supplement preparations next we have glucomylase enzyme it is obtained from aspergillus niger aspergillus rhizae used in sweeteners next very important enzyme is invertase it is obtained from yeast that is saccharomyces cerevisiae used in sugar candies next we have lactase enzyme it is obtained from saccharomyces lactis rhizopsoriza and uh, is used in uh, lactose intolerant patients next we have lipase enzyme which is obtained from rhizopus species uh, used in baking to treat uh, and is uh, and helps in treatment of pancreatic disorders next we have pectinase en enzyme it is very important enzyme used in fruit juice industry it is obtained from aspergillus niger and used uh, in fruit juices next we have some important preparations of organic acids from some certain fungi firstly we have aspergillus niger it produces an acid which is citric acid and it is a powerful cleaning agent used as food preservative and is helps in formation of many cosmetic products next we have rhizopus nigricans and rhizopus rhizus it produces fumaric acid and this is used in oral pharmaceutical formations and also in food and beverages products so he has uses it next we have aspergillus terius uh, it yields an acid that is etaconic acid or ye use kiya jata hai for the preparation of acrylic as fibers rubber in uh, rubber then reinforced glass fibers in and in water treatment systems next we have aspergillus niger it yields gluconic acid it is used as food additive acidity regulator and uh, used in preparation of cleaning products next we have aspergillus rhizae it yields an acid that is kojic acid it is used in food processing and skin related cosmetic preparations next we have rhizopus rhizae it yields lactic acid it is very important uh, and is used as food preservative curing agent and flavoring agent and it is also an ingredient in the food processed food and is used as a decontaminant during meat processing so ye acids hain and these are certain uses of these acids which are produced by fungi next important product of fungi is gibberellin is a plant hormone aur ye jo plant hormone hai this is ga3 gibberellic acid we i have made a separate video of these plant growth regulators so these are plant hormones produced by fungus that is gibberella fusicorae uh, which causes a disease in rice seedlings uh, that is accompanied by abnormal elongation and that disease is known as bican disease of rice or fully seedling disease of rice so this fungus is responsible for production of this chemical substance gibberella uh, gibberellin that is responsible for abnormal elongation of rice seedling gibberellin is used to accelerate growth of horticultural 
क्रॉप्स सो ये ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर है और ग्रोथ को एक्सेलरेट uh, करता है प्लांट्स की इट इज़ आल्सो यूज्ड इन हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप क्रॉप्स एंड इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्रूट्स नेक्स्ट द रोल ऑफ फंजाई एंड चीज इंडस्ट्री सो फंजाई प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन चीज इंडस्ट्री टू प्रोड्यूस सुपीरियर क्वालिटी चीज फंगस इज यूज सर्टिन फंजाई पॉपुलर नॉन एज चीज मोल्ड प्ले एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन द रिफाइनिंग ऑफ चीज दे गिव चीज अ करेक्टरिस्टिक टेक्स्चर एंड फ्लेवर सो एक पर्टिकुलर टेक्स्चर और फ्लेवर के लिए रिस्पॉन्सिबल होते हैं ये मोल्ड द टू चीफ काइंड ऑफ मोल्ड रिफाइंड चीज आर फर्स्टली फर्स्ट वन इज द कैमबर्ट एंड ब्रिय टाइप चीज दे आर सॉफ्ट एंड दिस पैकिंग ऑफ दिस कैमबर्ट चीज इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली चीज नेक्स्ट इज द रॉकी फूड गॉडजोन जोला एंड स्टिल्टन टाइप द मोल्ड कंसर्न आर पेनीसिलियम कैमबर टाइप एंड पेनीसिलियम कैसियोकोलम इन द फर्स्ट टाइप एंड पेनीसिलियम रॉकी फूड आई इन द सेकेंड टाइप सो ये फंगस मोल्ड यूज किया थे टू प्रिपेयर दिस चीज एंड दिस इज द रॉकी फोर्ट चीज और इसमें जो ग्रीनिश कलर है इट इज ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस फंगल मोल्ड विच इज पेनीसिलियम रॉकी फोर्ट आई नेक्स्ट यूज ऑफ फंगस इज सोर्स ऑफ वाइटामिन सो फंजाई आर सोर्स ऑफ वाइटामिन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव बी कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज अपटेन फ्रॉम द फंगस ईस्ट दैट इज सेक्रोमाइसिस इट हेल्प्स इन बूस्टिंग आर इम्यून सिस्टम एंड मेनटेन द मेटाप्लीस Next we have riboflavin, which is vitamin B2. It is obtained from Aspia gossypia, uh, gossypi, Candida fomita, fomita. So, ये जो fungus हैं, they produce riboflavin. It increases the energy level, और ये improve करता है immune system को, maintain maintains healthy hair, skins, and it slow down the rate of aging. Next we have pantothenic acid, that is vitamin B5. It is obtained from Caesarium oxysporum. It is used to treat osteoarthritis, rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, nerve pain, enlarged prostate, and Parkinson's disease. So, ये कुछ एक diseases को treat करने में use होता है. Pantothenic acid. Next, we have NADH. It is obtained from Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Uh, it is used to treat high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and also relieves uh, and also used to treat depression and Parkinson's disease. So, these are some of the vitamins which are produced from Fungi. Next, fungi plays important role in agriculture and forestry. Fungi is associated with humus formation, biological control of some pests, and formation of mycorrhizal association with many plants. Firstly, fungi helps in humus humus formation along with bacteria. Fungi helps in degrading the heaps of organic matter and convert it into a uh, valuable form which is known as humus it is rich in nutrients aur ye plant growth mein help karta hai fungi along with bacteria degrade the heaps of organic waste to form this dark colored material which is known as humus humus contain all the nutrients which are required for plant growth so jo plant growth ke liye jo bhi nutrients ki requirement hoti hai that is present in this dark colored material which is humus and during this process co2 is released which is used by plant for photosynthesis it maintains the physical and chemical properties of soil so helps in maintaining the chemical and physical properties of the soil so, uh, humus is a degradative product of cellulose hemicellulose lignin proteins humic acid fulvic acid etc so it contains these components uh, or iske degradation se ye dark color substance banta hai which is rich in nutrients and helps in plant growth Next role of fungi in agriculture is biological control of pests. Fungi helps in controlling many plant pests such as fungi, insects and nematodes. And this is the table which shows various fungi which are used to control the pest in plants. Firstly, the fungi uses Trichoderma lignorum. It inhabits the fungus Pythium and this Pythium is known to cause disease, root rot disease which is a damping of settling. Next fungus is Nematophora gynophila. 
ये इनहेबिट करता है हिट्रोडेरा विच इज अ निमेटोड और ये कॉज करता है डिजीज सीरियल सिस्ट नेक्स्ट फंगस इज हिरसुटेला थॉम्पसोनाए इट इनहेबिट्स द सिट्रस रस्ट माइट इसको इनहेबिट करता है और ये सिट्रस फ्रूट में डिजीज कॉज करता है नेक्स्ट इज पैसिलो म्यूसिस फ्यूमोसोरोसियस सो इट कॉज इट इनहेबिट्स द पीच फ्रूट मॉथ जो पीट पीच फ्रूट मॉथ है उसको इनहेबिट करता है ये फंगस और उसको और दिस पीच फ्रूट मॉथ इज नॉन टू को स्प्रेड वायरल एंड बैक्टीरियल डिजीज सो इन डिजीज को कंट्रोल करता है ये फंगस नेक्स्ट इज एस्टरसोनिया प्लसेंटा इट इनहेबिट्स सिट्रस वाइट फ्लाई और ये भी सिट्रस प्लांट को इन्फेक्ट करता है नेक्स्ट इज मेटाराइजियम एनिसोफिले और ये जो फंगस है इट इज इनहेबिटेड बाय दिस एप्पल बग और ये कॉज करता है डिजीज इन एप्पल सो दीज वर सम फंजाई विच आर यूज टू कंट्रोल द बेस्ट इन प्लांट्स नेक्स्ट रोल ऑफ फंजाई इन एग्रीकल्चर इज माइक्रोइजल फंजाई माइको मीन्स फंगस राइजल मीन्स रूट सो फंजाई शोज एसोसिएशन विद द रूट्स ऑफ हायर प्लांट्स and helps in adoption of water and nutrients from the soil this association this symbiotic association is known as mycorrhizal association this fungus uh, which shows mycorrhizal association belongs to phylum glomeromycota this is very important and this is a uh, mycorrhizal association is a symbiotic association between some fungal partners with the roots of higher plants it in helps in increasing the surface area ye increase karta hai surface area of the roots and helps in the absorption of minerals even in the traces so jo minerals hain bahut hi small uh, quantity mein present hai soil mein usko bhi absorption mein help karta hai it has been reported from families pinaceae salicaceae juglandaceae uh, teliaceae betulaceae and fagaceae etc so ye jo plants ki families hain inme ye fungal association report kiya gaya hai uh, then we have some examples of fungi which show the association with the roots of higher plants like we have species of oletus rosella Tricholoma, Antoloma, Amanita, Lactarius, Habiloma, and Scleroderma. So these are some fungi which show the association with the roots of higher plants. Next, what it do? Uh, what it uh, do in the plants? So firstly, the propagules hain, from the mycorrhizal inoculum germinate and form the symbiotic association with the growing root system. So ye hum karte hain artificial system hai. In our crops, we can use this mycorrhizal inoculum. रेडी मेड इन माइक्रोइजल इनाकुलम परचेज करते हैं एंड वी मिक्स इट विद द सीड्स और उसके बाद ये जो प्रॉपिक्यूज हैं दे विल शो एसोसिएशन विद द जर्मिनेटिंग सीड्स एंड फॉर्म द सेम बारे एसोसिएशन विद द ग्रोइंग रूट सिस्टम सेकेंडली जो माइक्रोइजल हाइफे हैं दे प्रोलीफेट दे ग्रो वाइग्रसली इन टू द सराउंडिंग सॉयल एंड क्रीज द प्लांट्स इफेक्टिव रूटिंग एरिया जो रूट सिस्टम है उसका जो सरफेस एरिया ये इंक्रीज करता है विच आल्स एन ऑप्शन ऑफ न्यूट्रिय नेक्स्ट दिस थर्ड benefit of this mycorrhizal association is it helps in macronutrients and micronutrients uh, absorption and also helps in absorption of water from the soil surface so these are some benefits of mycorrhizal association next key benefits of mycorrhizal fungi firstly root system growth the mycorrhizal fungi hai ye support karta hai plant establishment faster and mycorrhizal hyphae access water and nutrient beyond the root zone and deliver them to the plant vascular network as a मिनरल्स जो बहुत ही स्मॉल क्वांटिटी में प्रेजेंट होते हैं सॉइल में उनको भी ये एब्जॉर्ब करने में हेल्प करते हैं दे इंक्रीज द एब्जॉर्बशन एरिया बाय एज मच एज 50 टाइम्स 50 टाइम्स ये एब्जॉर्बशन एरिया इंक्रीज करते हैं इंक्रीज ओवरऑल रूट बायोमास सो रूट सिस्टम को ये एनहेंस करते हैं नेक्स्ट दे प्रिवेंट न्यूट्रिय डेफिशेंसी सो दे एस्टेब्लिश न्यूट्रिय एफिशेंसी Mycorrhizal hyphae uh, absorb and actively deliver nutrients directly to the roots. Improve utilization of soil nutrients, including nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, micronutrients. So, ये जो new minerals हैं इनको आसानी से ये absorb करने में help करता है. Next, it increases the water absorption capacity of plant. Mycorrhizal hyphae absorb and transport soil moisture from beyond the root zone to the plant's root. The mycorrhizal symbiosis. increases the plant's effective water retention capacity capability and improve tolerance to stress greater resistance to drought so ye kuch ek uh, benefits hai fungal association ke jise mycorrhizal association kaha jata hai uh, in return jo fungi hai that will get uh, host protection from the plant uh, and also gets the food from the plant 
there are two major types of mycorrhizal fungi one is endomycorrhizal fungi second one is the ectomycorrhizal fungi endomycorrhizal fungi as the name indicate uh, in case of endomycorrhizal fungi the hyphae penetrates into the root cortex and helps in exchange of nutrients within the root while in case of ectomycorrhizal fungi these hyphae do not penetrate into the root cell but they just surround the cell walls or ek sheath banate hain root ke charo taraf so that type of fungi is known, uh, fungal association is known as ectomycorrhizal fungi so uh, in uh, endomycorrhizal fungi it forms symbiotic relationship with approximately 85% of plant families while the ectomycorrhizal fungi forms only 10% uh, uh, of plant families association with the 10% of plant families in endomycorrhizal fungi it pairs with most commercially produced plants including green leafy and fruiting flowering plants sabhi tarah ke plants ke sath association show karta hai endomycorrhizal fungi while this ectomycorrhizal fungi show the association with conifers and many american hardwood as i have earlier discussed this endomycorrhizal fungus penetrates into the root cortex and forms nutrient exchange structures within the root cells known as arbuscles or vesic vesicles so that's why it is also known as abbreviated as vem uh, fungi that is vesicular arbuscle mycorrhiza while this ectomycorrhizal fungi do not penetrates into the roots uh, root cell wall but forms sheath around the root and nutrient exchange structures are known as harting net or jo exchange karne mein help karte hain un structure ka hota hai harting net there are some facts regarding this mycorrhiza brassica family is non uh, non mycorrhizal next ericaceae and orchids have specific species of mycorrhizal fungi less commercially available so this is all about the mycorrhiza there are some fungi which helps in nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation is the process in which the atmospheric nitrogen is converted into organic forms which is utilized by plants so firstly as your nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen it is converted into ammonium ion then it is converted into nitrite and finally into nitrate ion and this form is available for plant so this complex phenomenon uh which is carried out by various biochemical reactions uh is known as nitrogen fixation so there are certain fungi which has in this fixation of atmospheric nitrogen biological nitrogen is the commonest and the largest cause of soil fertility so it imparts f uh, fertility of the soil it is mainly achieved through symbiotic bacteria there are some symbiotic bacteria which show the association with the uh, plants they are present in the root nodules of legumes that we mostly studies it is rhizobium bacterium rhizobium leguminoserum which inhabits the uh, root nodules of legumes or wo help karta hai atmospheric nitrogen ko fix karne ke liye a small amount of atmospheric nitrogen is also fixed by non symbiotic fungi such as rhodotorula and saccharomyces so these are some fungi which helps in fixation of nitrogen next fungi plays very important role in research work we have one famous example that is neurospora it is it is commonly known as the drosophila plant kingdom it is used as model organism model organisms are those organisms which are used for genetical and biochemical research so research work mein jin organisms ko mostly use kiya jata hai unhe kaha jata hai model organisms <coughs> there was one famous hypothesis which was given by george bedel and edward totem commonly known as one gene one enzyme hypothesis which means that a single gene produces a single enzyme which was based on the studies uh, studies carried on this neurospora this is neurospora crassa and these are the vegetative hyphae of neurospora is ke upar ye study kiya gaya tha and they give this uh, famous hypothesis that is one and one gene one enzyme hypothesis there are some other fun uh, fungi which are used for research work like saccharomyces and aspergillus species which are used in research work then we have aspergillus niger it is used for detection of copper in soil next is scopulariopsis species which is used in detection of arsenic so these are some fungi which are used in research work now we have discussed the useful activities of fungi next we will discuss about the harmful activities of fungi fungi are known to cause various diseases in animals humans plants and they can destroy various uh, our household articles of daily use 
Firstly, a spoilage of food done by fungi. Uh, food items such as bread, pickles, jams, fruits, vegetable grains, and pulses are attacked by species of fungi, and they makes these items unfit to human and animal consumption. This is the photograph which shows various uh, food items which are destroyed by fungi. And uh, by the attack of these fungus, these items are unfit for human and animal consumptions. Consumption and also produces some toxins which are known as mycotoxins. They are known to cause various diseases and uh, collectively we use the term for this as mycotoxicosis. Pickles and sauces, they are spoiled by yeasts like Rotorula. Meat is spoiled by the species of Aspergillus, Penicillium and Rhizopus. Next, toxins produced by fungi. Fungi are known to produce certain toxins which can cause disease in humans as well as in animals. So one of the famous toxins produced by fungus is uh, aflatoxin. It is the most potent carcinogenic agent. Carcinogenic agent means cancer causing agent are produced by Aspergillus flavus, Aspergillus fumigatus, Aspergillus parasiticus and Penicillium Icelandicum on dried fruit and groundnut meals. So these causes diarrhea, vomiting, liver damage, complete unconsciousness, etc. Mushroom toxins are commonly produced by Amanita phalloides, commonly known as death cap, species of Halvela, and some species of Inocype. So these are some uh, fungi which produces potent toxins uh, that can cause even death of an uh, individual. So aflatoxin is known to cause various diseases in humans and they impact our crops, our dairy uh, production and if they are consumed by humans, they also impact the human health. Next one common toxin is argot toxin produced by Claviceps purpurea which contain poisonous alkaloids like ergetamine, ergetometrimine, uh, ergocristidine, ergocristinine and Argonovin. So these alkaloids are uh, known to cause diarrhea, vomiting and uh, can uh, damage our liver. So these are some common toxins which are produced by fungi. So this is a table which shows mycotoxins which are produced by the uh, uh, particular fungus species. For example, we have Aspergillus flavus, Aspergillus parasiticus, which produces aflatoxin, and flavus also Aspergillus flavus also produces cyclopizanoic acid. So these are, this is the table which shows various toxins that you can go through this table, uh, and uh, this is the name of uh, fungi which produces these toxins. Next harmful activity of fungi is destruction of wood. Fungi can destroy the timber wood as well as the other wood wood articles. So angiosperm plants are more prone to decay by fungi than gymnosperms because gymnosperm plants have some secondary metabolites like resins which can prevent the action of this fungi. So there are several fungi such as polypores, xylaria, serpula, lacrimans, fusarium, nigundi, uh, coniophora, cerebella, then fistulina, ganoderma, Coniophora, Lentinus lepidens, and Penicillium divaricatum. These are known to cause destruction or spoilage of valuable timber uh, items by reducing their mechanical strength of the wood. So these are some fungus which are known to destroy our timber wood. And they impart, they also impart objectionable color to the stored wood. For example, we have Aspergillus trichoderma and Rhizopus. These are known to add some objectionable color in our wood articles or stored wood. Next is destruction of textile. Fungi also causes destruction of textiles like uh, destruction of leather items or woolen articles. Several fungi are able to grow on cotton and uh, woolen textiles causing their uh, destruction. These include species of Alternaria, Penicillium, Aspergillus, Mucor and Fusarium and species of Stachybotrys. These are known to cause destruction of cotton in storage. Then we have Chitomium globosum. It is reported to cause greatest damage to the textile. So, ye jo, uh, fungi, uh, fungus hai, ye sab se zada, uh, damage karta hai textile industry ko, textile items ko. 
like we can see in this photograph this is the cotton jacket or blazer which is uh, destroyed by the fungus fungi is known to cause various diseases in humans as well as in animals we will discuss here some important human diseases which are caused by fungi first is aspergillosis which is caused by aspergillus fumigatus and the part affected are skin and lungs the symptoms of aspergillosis are vision difficulties headache blood in urine anorexia blood in sputum pneumonia pain in chest and it mainly affects our lungs and causes irritation in the lung and uh, also distract the also cause disturbances in the airway next fungal disease is candidiasis it is caused by the fungi candida albicans it is uh, and the part infected are skin face hands it results in this disease which is known as candidiasis as we know that most of uh, the fungi or fungi which grows on our skin mouth or intestine in very small amount when this growth of fun fungus is uncontrolled it leads to this disease condition which is known as candidiasis and when infection is severe it grows on our tongue at, it, and can also infect our esophagus and throat and then it is known as oral thrush mostly ye jo disease hai ye newborn babies mein hota hai aur the person who are with very weak immune system unme grow karta hai ye fungus uh, and the other symptoms of candidiasis are uh, muscle fatigue urinary or genital uh, tract infections and it also cause uh, sinus infection so these are some symptoms of this disease candidiasis next one of the most common fungal disease dandruff it is caused by the fungus mycosporium and the part infected is scalp so this is the fungal <coughs> infection which is caused by this mycosporium it causes uh, the infection in the scalp and this dead skin comes out of in the form of flakes which is commonly known as dandruff it results in this disease which is known as seborrhea and the symptoms are uh, abundant dandruff then hair loss uh, pruritus thickening of stratum corneum oily skin shine skin peeling or ye iske kuch symptoms hain seborrhea ke which is caused by this fungus microsporium next human disease is the ringworm which is caused by microsporium again and the part affected are skin and hairs these are the these are the symptoms which can be seen in this skin or ye ring ki form mein jo infection hota hai it is caused by this microsporium next is uh, also in the head region this is again the, the symptom of my uh, this ringworm next is mucor mycosis caused by absida mucor rhizopus and the part affected are face nasal sinuses lungs eyes these are the uh, symptoms of this uh, mucor mycosis uh, recently jo black fungus wala disease news mein tha in this uh, uh, this fungus mostly affects the eye and this is the colony of this fungus it affects the eyes and the symptoms are pain redness around eyes nose then it also leads to fever headache coughing shortness of breath bloody vomits and altered mental status so these are the fungus these are the symptoms of this mucor mycosis next human disease is chromomycosis caused by the fungus cladosporium carioni and the part affected is skin so these are and this the photograph shows the symptoms of this disease chromomycosis most affects the skin and these are the some dreadful uh, photographs of this uh, disease chromomycosis caused by cladosporium carioni next human disease caused by fungus is blastomycosis it is caused by fungus blastomyces dermatitis part of infected are lungs skin and these are the symptom of this disease blastomycosis it also affects skin and our lungs next are the plants disease which are caused by fungi one of the famous uh, disease that is apple scab caused by venturia in aquilis and this is the photograph which shows the symptom of this uh, apple scab and i have made a separate video on this uh, uh, 
genus Venturia and Achilles, which cause apple scab. Next is black stem rust of wheat. It is caused by Paxenia graminis triticae. It uh, causes the black stem rust disease in case of wheat. Next is brown stem rust of wheat. It is caused by Paxenia recondita. Uh, then there is another uh, rust is uh, the yellow stem rust of wheat, which is caused by Paxenia steriformis. Next is blast disease of rice. It is caused by Pyricularia oryzae. And this, the, these are the photographs which shows various symptoms. Rice blast disease caused by Pyricularia oryzae. Next is damping of settlings. It is caused by Pythium divarianum. Uh, the seedlings are the soil ke pass, uh, weak ho hai, or just seedlings and they drops down. And it, this disease is known, known as damping of Next is joining mild dew of grape wine. It is caused by Plasma para viticola. Or ye grapes may disease cause karta hai plasma para viticola. Next is powdery mild dew of grapes. It is caused by uncinula nicator. Or ye bhi grapes may disease cause karta hai powdery mild dew disease. Next is early blight of potato, it is caused by Alternaria solenae in uh, potato. It is known as early blight because this disease hai, ye crops ko infect karta hai before harvesting in early stage development stage. Next is late blight of potato, it is caused by Pytophthora infestans. It may after harvesting, jo, uh, during the time of harvesting, the crop hai, usko infect karta hai. Blight means the symptom of burning, as we can see here, tubers bhi infect hote hai. And this is a, one of the famous diseases which is known to cause most famous Irish famine. Next is the carnal bunt of wheat. It is caused by Telicia indica. It is very important disease. Carnal Haryana mein ek jaga hai. Wahan pe sabse pehle is disease ko notice kiya gaya tha. It is known as carnal bunt. Next is loose loose mat of wheat. It is caused by Astelagotritisai. Isme jo pura pura panicle hai that gets converted into the dusty mass, black dusty mass, it is known as uh, loose mud of wheat caused by astelagotrich. Next is the uh, Panama disease of banana, it is caused by Fusarium oxysporum. You see Fusarium wilt bhi kaha hai. These are the symptoms. This may jo uh, banana ke plants hai, wo dry ho jate hai due to this infection. And this disease is known as Panama disease of. Next is the red rot of sugarcane. It is caused by Colletotrichum falcatum, and this the these are the photographs which shows the symptom of this red rot of sugarcane caused by Colletotrichum falcatum. Next is the tica the disease of tica disease of groundnut. It is caused by Cercospora archi decola. This may the symptoms and appear in black legends ki form on the aerial part leaves. Next is white rust of crucifers. It is caused by Albigo candida. It's a जो क्रूसिफर्स हैं जैसे ब्रासिका है टर्निप है रेडिश है उनमें जो ब्लैक वाइट कलर का मास पाउडरी मास अपीयर होता है दिस डिजीज नोन एज वाइट रस्ट ऑफ क्रूसिफर इट इज कॉज्ड बाय अल्बिगो कैंडिड सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट फॉर आवर टुडेस डिस्कशन दिस वीडियो वाज लॉन्गर देन द यूजुअल वीडियोस होप यू विल गेट सम इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस क्वेरीज एंड एनी सजेशंस यू कैन गिव इट इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे